Australian comedian Hannah Gadsby won a legion of fans across the globe with the groundbreaking Nanette and followed it up with the award-winning Douglas. Now the renowned comedy star has a new show called Something Special and it promises to live up to its name. I caught up with Hannah to find out why. I got married. That's what this show's going to be about. It's going to be a romantic comedy. Yeah, yucky. Hannah Gadsby, it is so good to have you on the program. Your latest show is fabulous. Thank you very much, Lisa. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I've been a fan of yours for a while. I've seen both Lynette and Douglas, and you promised us you were going to make us feel good with this one. Um, why did you make that decision? Because why not, you know? Um... There, you know, there was a decision. I could have talked about all the different wonderful ways the world is ending. That would have been a rich, you know, tapestry to weave. Uh, but I feel like the world is always going to be about to end. Uh, there's always going to be terrible things to talk about, but I may not always be happy. Uh, happiness feels like a fleeting moment, and I really wanted to celebrate that, capture that, and share it. And the happiness is thanks very much to your wife, uh, Jeno. <laughs> um, how did she feel about uh, being the subject of this latest show? Uh, look, Jeno's. Uh, I've been working with Jeno for a long time. Um, she's been. She was a part of the Douglas tour and, of course, the filming of that. Um, so, you know, she was no stranger to the process. She was there from the beginning. She actually knows the show better than I do. She's seen it. I haven't. She was even. She was. Even, she sat in the edit. You know, uh, this show, nothing in this show would happen without Jeno's OK. But we've, no, you know, we both trust each other enormously. And, um, you know, I'm sure if I'd have gone a problematic route, she would have let me know and edited it out. From what I can gather, a proposal is at best reverse engineered spontaneity. <laughs> at worst, it's an ambush. How do you think uh, queer love stories have been told in the past? Well, I, I think there's, a, you know, often uh, putting the trauma foot forward. Um, so uh, I really wanted to break that pattern a little bit. I think expressing queer joy at this moment, particularly in the US where I am, um, is, is kind of a subversive political uh, act. So uh, I was happy to do that, to put a more positive foot forward. Um, because, uh, you know, honestly, that's all we want. We, we really don't want to do harm to the world. We just want what everyone else wants, which is, you know, the ability to grab at happiness when it comes. Yeah, there's been some pretty difficult conversations that you've been involved with as well in regard to how the community are portrayed. Uh, Dave Chappelle on Netflix, we know about that um, dispute. Uh, most recently with Barry Humphreys' comments that you'd made five years ago coming up again. Do you think there's still a bit of a reckoning to be done in the arts community to acknowledge past performers, but also taking into account what audiences are looking for today? You know, this is, a, this is a very big conversation that's way bigger than me and any individual that I call out. Um, and, you know, this is, this is about who, who do we want to be? Um, and, you know, you can't change the past, but I think this conversation is incredibly f important because it's going to inform how we move forward. How, how do, you know, you know, we, we celebrate so-called genius. Um, and, you know, it, you know, are we gonna, do we have to be Machiavellian about it? You know, <laughs> you know does the ends justify the means? Um, and I think it's an incredibly important uh, conversation to have. Um, and I think it's going to, you know, continue to be had. It feels like a real backlash moment though. It's got to the stage in our relationship. We tell couple stories now. I know. But but Jeno and I will experience the same occasion. And I will say, this is what happened. And Jeno will say, where the f were you? <laughs> Just for the next hour, we're gonna feel good together and then we can head back out there and be the mass extinction event that we are. Hey Hannah, what's next for you? Do you get to put your feet up, have a cup of tea and enjoy married life for a bit? Yeah, look, that's the, that's the dream. Um, but, you know, there's so many different kinds of people I need to be calling out now. You know, I've had a little rest with this show. It's time to start, you know.
ruffling feathers again. Yeah. Ruffling feathers, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hate birds. Okay. That's a joke. <laughs> Love them. Hannah Gadsby, thanks for your time this morning. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it, Lisa. Thank you.